In front of 3,398 supporters, Detroit City FC edged out Fort Pitt Regiment 3-1 at Cast Tech High School on Friday night. In the early part of the first half, City was forced to buckle down defensively after struggling to win the possession battle. Left back shined on the back line all evening, and here in the 19th minute, he makes a magnificent lunging tackle to stymie any threat from the Fort Pitt attack. But DCFC would end up conceding in the 25th minute when Sean Riley sent a ball over top of City's back line, finding Lamine Baldy, who flicks the ball over a charging Brett Mullen to give Fort Pitt an early 1-0 lead. The Rouge would go into the halftime break trailing 1-0, but that score wouldn't hold for very long. Detroit City FC would finally find an equalizer in the 56th minute. Latif Alache finds himself in the right place at the right time in the middle of a scrum in the box, and he hammers home a loose ball to the delight of a sellout crowd at Cast Tech. Just moments later, Miguel LaPerry would find a glorious chance to net the go-ahead goal thanks to a creative ball from Cyrus Sadie, but he barely heads the ball wide of the right post, and the score remains level at one goal apiece. The relentless attack from DCFC in the second half would soon be rewarded, though in the 72nd minute, Sean Lawson receives a ball from TJ Van Sluten Shimmies around a defender and finds enough space to glide the ball into the net for a 2-1 City lead. And in the 90th minute, Van Sluten would be on the scoring end of things to slam the door shut on Fort Pitt's hope of a comeback by netting DCFC's third unanswered goal. Van Sluten finds another loose ball in the box and rifles home the shot that would finally allow the thousands of La Rouge supporters to breathe a little sigh of relief. With the victory, City sets up a winner-take-all match at Lansing United on Sunday to determine who will emerge as champions of the Great Lakes West Conference and clinch a berth in the Midwest Region Playoffs.